Something wicked is definitely coming. It might be season 15, but we'll see. Hey guys, this is my review for Something Wicked, the next episode of my season one reviews. This was episode 18. And this is the one about the creepy pedo doctor ghost. I actually couldn't remember what this episode was based on title, but within the first five seconds of the episode starting, I'm like, oh, I remember which one this is. It's about a ghost, a striga, that is coming into children's rooms and basically stealing their life force forcing them to go into comas and eventually dying. And this is actually a creature that has a lot of history with Dean. Particularly, it attacks Sam when he was off playing in an arcade and he wasn't able to kill it, and neither was his dad coming rushing in. So there's a lot of history with this creature for Dean, and we slowly get that revealed through the flashbacks. The first flashbacks, if I'm correct, with the actual kid actors. At least the kid who played Dean. The kid who played Dean was the same kid for a couple of seasons as young Dean. And I liked that they kept this kid for so long. Because most instances you see them change out the actors. But for some reason they really did a good job at keeping this kid. If I'm correct, I might be wrong. But I'm pretty certain this is the same kid at least until past season 3. And season 3 has a really good memory episode too. But as for the episode itself, this actually is a really decently well-made episode. It's actually one of the better episodes of this season and it's just that emotional connection between Sam, Dean, and the past, the history that he has. And we really see the reason why Dean cares for his brother. It's not just because of that brotherly instinct, but it's something that his father ingrained into him. And Sam even says, you know, I gave you a bunch of crap for following dad's orders, but really I understand why you were doing it. And Dean goes, oh, please kill me. But we see a lot more of that connection between the two of them. And then just the mentality and the lifestyle that the brothers went through. The whole list of things that John has this kid doing. Young Dean here is what, 10 years old? And we're hearing all these things that a military sergeant would tell a grunt. Hearing all that and having the 10 year old relay that back is just a kind of another further precedent on what these kids went through and how this would not be a good life to live despite how many people think that it would be. I did like that humanity aspect and also I love how this episode shot. There's a lot of really cool camera angles, a lot of close-ups, a lot of use of dark lighting. There's a particular scene where Sam and Dean are looking at a TV screen to a camera that's in the room of one of the kids who they're using as bait for the monster and just the lighting, how they're holding their guns, just the intensity in their faces is really, really good. And I love how Dean like come triple tr taps that thing at the end when it's on the ground bleeding out. I love that in the headshot too. I do enjoy Something Wicked. It is definitely a standout episode, not in terms of just what the monster was, but the connection that Sam and Dean have, the humanity of it, and the, uh, the camera angles of this episode too. It kind of is unfortunate that it's forgotten a little bit. Like I even forgot what it was for a split second, but the instant I saw that hand, I was like, oh, now in my episode of Hell House, I asked you guys what you thought of this episode. So I'm gonna read off some of those comments right now. Now, admittedly, I'm doing this really quickly. There's only been a few comments. So here's one from Karen C. I really enjoy Something Wicked as I think it was the first time the show used young actors to portray scenes with, from their childhood. That's done better in future years though. Here it shows the genesis of some of Dean's character traits, namely, always watching out for Sammy and following John's orders without question. The flashback shows the childhood trauma where Dean failed to protect his brother. Kid Dean felt bad enough and then his father specifically blamed him for not following orders and in Dean's mind he became a disappointment to his father leading Dean to blindly follow his directions thereafter. Fantastic little point right here. Karen C absolutely nails it on the head with that comment there. Then there's Tom L here where we just have a back and forth about stocking up a booze for season 15, which I am. My final rating for Something Wicked is a 6 out of 7. I do enjoy this episode. I liked watching it again. It definitely had a lot of elements that made it really truly supernatural. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Please give me your comments, what you remember, what you liked about Something Wicked, and I'll make sure to mention those in the next review. Anyways guys, that's all from me. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. 
To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.